The Maggie G GK806. It's a keyboard and mouse combo that models itself on a mechanical gaming keyboard look. This one certainly isn't though. What it is, is a cheaper alternative. Which gives me the question, with so many of these inexpensive gaming keyboards popping up, is this hmm. one actually any good? Well, let's delve right in. Okay, so inside the box, we don't seem to have any user manual. But to the right side, we have a really slick looking gaming mouse. Ooh, yeah, it's got a bit of weight to it too. Moving over to the keyboard. All right, so we have 104 backlit keys, consisting of a blended blue color tone to the left, green to the right, and red in the middle. The lighting can be changed by pressing the function key together with the escape key. Pressing once to turn the lighting on, pressing again for extra brightness, so yes there's two levels of brightness in total, and pressing again for the third time which will activate the soft breathing mode. Mm. No, there isn't any zone specific lighting, like the WASD keys or the arrow keys, but you can however change them controls over if need be, by pressing and holding the function and W keys at the same time. Simply press again to change them controls right back. The initials on the keys themselves are not that bad to read. They are much better when illuminated, the keys have lots of distance, they are not too bad to type on, and they're quite silent in fact, with 104 keys sitting on a dome switch membrane. The GK806 keyboard has a standard style layout. It has a normal placement of keys, a normal sized enter key, but I'm not too sure about the swaps location of the shortcut buttons to the top. Like for example the audio and video keys and the home key buttons etc. As I do prefer the volume keys sitting to the right, but then that is my own preference. So yes within those shortcuts you do have access to the home key, email, search and media controls. There is this Maggie G logo to the top, which is illuminated as well as the Maggie G strips to the side. The whole chassis has zero flex, the keyboard sits quite flat, and yeah, although I think this can be used within an office, it definitely is suited more for gamers, not because of the look, but because of the size of the actual keyboard footprint. Okay, it's not massive compared to other budget keyboard combos, but it does give an impression of an amateur keyboard, rather than a professional one. Underneath, we have two rubber pad grips to the front to stop sliding. Not completely, but good enough. As well, we have these two double kickstands to the back, giving this keyboard two levels of extra height adjustment with no signs of it giving away under pressure. There are signs of a few drain holes for them accidental spills. The whole weight of this keyboard is around 998 grams, which is heavier than other gaming units within the same category, but it's certainly not as heavy as a proper mechanical keyboard. Attached to the rear, it has a 1.5 meter USB cable. And this GK806 is compatible with Windows XP, 7, 8, 10, Vista and other operating systems including a PS4. Looking at the gaming mouse, it comes in this dark full matte black and grey colour coordination. The left and right keys are equally weighted, they feel pretty good and not too loud to be honest. There are 7 buttons in total, with a DPI button central, a boss key above that when pressed will temporarily close all the previous opened windows. There is a scroll wheel with its own click, a forward and backwards button to the side and a thumb and pinky finger rest to both sides, which I feel could be more comfortable if especially the thumb rest was raised a little so to access the forward and backwards buttons a bit better. Underneath we have this wonderful smooth metal finished base, with scuff proof padding to the front and bay, which all helps to make this mouse very manoeuvrable. This mouse has a 1.5 meter lead, it has a standard illumination of a 7 color breathing effect, and just like the keyboard, this mouse has auto sleep mode, which will shut off operation after 10 minutes without any use. Just press any key on the keyboard or mouse to awaken. Okay, I know this keyboard combo wasn't gonna be a professional gaming monster, but while playing games, the keyboard itself wasn't too bad, it's quite responsive. Yes, it certainly won't compare to most mechanical gaming keyboards, but after long use, I wasn't complaining of sore wrists or fingers, like some other cheap options tend to do. There were only a few accidental key presses, and like I mentioned, those keys, they're not too clunky for a basic keyboard. Shh. Uh. 
Perfect. The mouse on the other hand, well, it's fantastic. Yes, it's part of the combo, but it certainly looks a lot better than the keyboard itself. I actually really like it. The style and look isn't too over the top, and neither is the lighting too when in the dark. The lights on both keyboard and mouse are not too distracting. They are very mellow, and I think that both kids and teenagers that are starting out gaming, well, this could be the perfect startup keyboard and mouse combo. For office use, yeah, it's pretty good at typing, but like I said, because of the look, it's certainly suited for gaming only. You will look a sore thumb in an office and to look professional. I mean, it is what it is, it's a budget gaming keyboard combination that doesn't pack too many surprises. It does feel comfortable to work with, especially with that palm rest not being too steep. And if I was to rate this gaming mouse and keyboard within the budget gaming accessory category, then today I've got to give this GK806 gaming combo a 7 out of 10. I gave it a 7 because although it does serve the basic gaming needs, the design and feel could be a tiny bit better. For example, the visibility of all the letters and numbers on the keys without the lighting being on. But yes, I certainly think that this is a good package. It does what it's meant to do, and it doesn't look bad when doing a job. And with that budget price just now of around £23, that's 30 in US dollars, can't really go wrong with this neat little package. I will leave a link for this in the video description down below. And while you're there guys, please go ahead and smash the like button. Please go ahead and subscribe, making sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. Please share this video wherever possible, I very much appreciate it. And I'll see you guys over on the next video. Thanks for watching and peace!